This is a disclaimer. What you are about to encounter is purely an opinion. Opinions are generally based on lived experiences and what we're about to encounter is my opinion based off of my lived experiences on whatever topic we're about to encounter, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this immediately and please, let's keep it civil. If you or anyone you know have been affected negatively by Mr. L. Boyd's personal opinion, please call 248-434-5508. I want my environment to be a product of me. It sounds like narcissism, guys. Looking for the lie. Uh, yeah, absolutely, guys. Um, if you sit and just wait for something to come to you, you're no, it's never going to come, bro. All right, and this is uh, this is coming from someone who has who has seen the world, uh, lived in multiple continents, guys. I can tell you. Um, if you consistently dwell on things that you cannot control, if you don't work as hard as humanly possible, you will never get anywhere in life. <laughs> what? This man walked into this, this establishment, said, give me your protection money. He handed him like, looks like $25, right? Then made a comment on most likely his daughter, the guy's daughter, I'm guessing. And then said, oh, asking her extremely personal questions. I mean, apparently he's super attracted to her, you know, whatever, right? Then he used used the money that he took from the guy to pay for the product and then took the chain. This is something different. As of right now, I mean, we're two minutes in. Let's go. You do good in school? Yeah. That's good. Buy yourself some makeup. <laughs> Don't go by L Street, bro. He went by L Street. <laughs> right. His biggest concern after doing that was that she fell funny. <sighs> Guys, this is this is gonna be a this is gonna be an interesting one. What's the difference? Well, he's a bad influence on children. This guy is famous, yes? Or not just a skull, though. There's other places. Most of your body. As soon as it hits the bone. Right. DiCaprio. He is also famous. Right. Boston is interesting, guys. Um, it's rated pretty terribly in terms of like, uh, hmm, let's see, let's see, how do you say this here? It's rated pretty terribly in how, on like relations between people who look different. It's rated terribly consistently, guys. I don't know what it is. Um, you know, I've, I've stayed away from Boston my entire life, luckily. And well, keep in mind, I'm from New York, so, we don't like Boston anyway, <laughs> so it wasn't. It wasn't. It's not really like a. I don't need an award for staying away from Boston. Okay, either that guy is from Massachusetts for real, or uh, he's very good at this guys at acting. Thank you, Frank. This is a state plea. Fire. Dirty cop, just from the gate. Guys, who directed this? We won't be working together. That is, director. You'll be working Marky together. Marky Mark? Me, but I like to see everybody. Thank you, Sergeant. My are you, pleasure. Are you Thank worried you, about... Good luck. Are you worried about a 12-year-old phallus? Do you know what we do here? My section? No idea. Zip. None. If you had an idea about what we do, we would not be good at what we do, would we? We would be... Are you calling us... You, yes. Yeah, Sergeant Dignam has a style of his own. So, tell anybody up at Deerfield? That is, before you got kicked out for wailing on a gym teacher with a folding chair, you had Uncle Meta's demise like that. Hey, 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 Marky Mark. Don't don't get mad at DiCaprio for the things that you've done in real life, sir. Remember the, uh, the guy you blinded? The kids you threw rocks at? Bro, calm down. In real I life. question. You got any suits at home, or you like coming to work dressed like you're going to invade Poland? <laughs> Whoa! 
This unit is new, and you are the newest members of it. He's, I don't think he's the one that's pretending to be the cop. Guys, he's the other one, absolutely. Is an elite unit. Our job is to smash... Okay, guys, so everyone is famous. Just basically. Sure. Marginally Move. disrupt. Off the boat psycho lives in Brockton with his mother. She's straight up going my way. <laughs> you know who. We've done a briefing book, so read up. I want any and all ideas so I can pass them off as my own. Well, last I heard, he was happily married to a 12-year-old boy living on a beach in Thailand. I believe Fucking it. Fucking family's dogging in the Salty Projects like ticks. I got that right? Probably. Yep. You have different accents? Well, families are always rising or falling in America, am I right? Absolutely. Who said that? Hawthorne. We have a question. Do you want to be a cop? Or do you want to appear to be a cop? You sure of that? I'm sure of that. Guaranteed. I don't have any family. Not much to it, Uncle Edward. Well, you're trying to prove something to the family? Who do you mean exactly? You? Those are questions, right? <laughs> have I ever Those been good really to my dying? Good questions. Do you need some money for the funeral? Bro, bro, walk away. Hmm. Okay, so as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and guess that DiCaprio is probably going to be the good guy. While the other guy is obviously going to be the bad guy, unless this is like some double cross thing. But he, he honestly doesn't seem to like his family much at all. So why would you be attributing him to this absolutely disgusting bloodline that he has by the looks of it? Place and I have a co-signer. Yeah, just, just, just give me the papers. Yeah, I have no idea how a cop is affording that, guys. Like a legit cop. We know behind the scenes, but Faithful Departed. What's the name of the movie? The Departed. You want to serve the Commonwealth? This is your chance. What Who is happening? You You've already pretended to be a Costigan from South Boston. Every weekend, Sergeant. Perfect. Oh my God. Are you smoking with oxygen oh, on? Good to see. Uh, come on in. What? You said you well, was in this counterproductive, no? I couldn't believe it. What could I get back? You know what you know what you usually say at these moments. What? I'm not a cop, alright? You got some Nas? I liked his Uncle Jackie better. Jackie was alright. Uncle Jackie was excellent. Mm. What do you get your period? Yes. You don't hit him. You understand? <laughs> yeah, excellent. Fine. He was being disrespectful, though. He said he was bleeding I from his vagina, bro. I mean, that's, that's an offensive thing to family. say to a grown man. You understand that? Oh. 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 What are you drinking? What is it, your period? Yes. What are you going to do? Nothing? I mean, listen, can he not just like the taste of cranberry juice? I personally love the taste of cranberry juice. I will literally drink multiple liters, not on a daily basis, but I generally have cranberry mixed with, I don't know, apple, right? These are things that I consume on a daily basis. We'll add a little bit of water because it's too sweet generally for me. I love cranberry juice. Maybe he loves cranberry juice. Maybe he was once an alcoholic and he... I don't know, they like cranberry and vodka, and he doesn't want the vodka any longer, but he just still liked the taste of cranberry while he's in a bar, maybe. Oh, you can't, you just said you can't hit him. You just said you can't hit him. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you can hit him. Rules are different for him. Good. Today, girls, what I have for you is microprocessors. Somebody, as you may already know, stole 20 microprocessors. Hey, this guy's, uh, his old man right Guys, this is super real for the region. I know a couple of people from this this area, and yeah, they speak like this daily. And I'm like, bro, I can't have a conversation if every single word out of your mouth is just a terrible word. I, it, it messes with my mind when I hear so many curses, guys. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, right? You do not want to miss it if Costello takes a dump. We'd miss a lot less if you made your informants available to us and of course to the bureau. Without asking for too many details, do you have anyone in with Costello presently? Nice guy. <laughs> right. Don't judge him from this meeting alone. <laughs> Just listen, he's been terrible the entire time. Allegedly. If he was, he probably did something wrong. What, not wow. the robbery? That's not wrong. He did something else wrong? So he's being followed, the other guy. 
I'm sure he's going to find a way to tell him that he's being followed. He's a dirty cop. I listen, I went to UMass. I, I wasn't in. Bro, you're holding up the elevator. Come on, Babu. I can't do anymore. I cannot please. hold off. Please don't let me. Did you call him dad, guys? What I'm going to do. Business is bad. You opened up a store in an Irish neighborhood. These are dirty, dirty people. <laughs> you just made it worse, bro. Like you caused more damage than he would have <laughs> paid. Now listen, all of this type is, of extortion is absolutely terrifying. All right, does it happen in every, basically every major city? Absolutely. But yeah, you just caused this man more, more money, bro. He's got to fix all of that. And you broke your hand. Pretentious. The tiramisu tower. Who says I want to see you again? No. I'll just arrest innocent people. I'll arrest you right now. <laughs> I believe him. Do you know who I am? Of course he knows who you are. He's going to say no, though. Right. I'm not the cops. I'm not asking you. Those guys you tuned up, they're connected down Providence. Do you want me to stop them? Oh! <laughs> you did all of that? You could have just... Oh, man. We all are act accordingly. Oh man. I think I'm having post traumatic stress. Can I meet you for lunch? I think if you're that mentally weak, not, not trying to say that that's, you know, it's, it's a weakness of seeing someone extinguished, but if you are that mentally weak as a police officer, you probably shouldn't be a police officer. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know that. Personally. You know John Lennon. Yeah, sure, he was a president before Lincoln. No, he wasn't. It's the Beatles guy. So I remember she ain't that sentimental. Microprocessor. Guys, right, something tells me that the woman that um that is keep coming in and out of the scene, she's probably a cop, guys. So who did the two guys from Providence? Guys, is this one of these like Tarantino movies, guys? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't look at the director, um, but I can definitely tell you, based off of how this movie is progressing, it's absolutely beautiful to look at in terms of like every shot. Like every shot is like is like perfectly filmed. Like I'm looking for errors in filming and I cannot find a single one, guys. There's none. There are no errors. That's crazy, guys. Like everything is beautiful. The book he does, don't you? Not really. Everyone pays him. Hi, Dad. Maybe something you don't know about William Costigan Sr. Yeah, like, then why are you... E exactly. I am as God made me. Was that your rationale? May I remind you that pride comes before the fall. Now, have you made any statements or phone calls I need to be made aware of? Just listen to what I'm saying to you. Yeah, no, you carry on without me. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye.
Keep Thank moving. You. So how are you? Oh, this man is dirty, 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 guys. He's a dirty bird. I think that's what uh, the woman said in Misery. She said, you're a dirty birdie. Oh, he had some ED, guys. Mm. Do you lie? Let's keep it with you. Talk Why? about how you feel. <laughs> Oh, the kids, the kids with, with the kids' toy. You've gotten used to the torment. It's shaking a little bit on the screen. A little bit. But either way, I, I, I get your point. Are you dropping bars right now, bro? Yeah, it definitely doesn't ease you as fast as they just depicted it, but let's continue. Never heard that one before. Because it's bigger than that. If, if he has those very specific microprocessors, as they're saying, right? Um, that are most likely guidance chips uh, for some type of um, intercontinental, uh, you know, um, then yeah, it's bigger than whatever he has done. It is getting that off of the streets, guys. Is that what you do? You're ridiculous. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good, good. You're spectacular at this. You know, I'm not just somebody that you have to see or they put you in jail. Okay? That's what it looks like. Because according to my standards, you fit the model of drug-seeking behavior. Yep, you know, it does. too damn bad if you don't like my initial clinical reaction. <laughs> right, you know? Right. I'm sorry to get you the last minute, but things leak. This lead came from Queen is undercover guy. I'm gonna have a smoke right now. You want to smoke? You don't smoke, do you? Right? What do you want all these fitness freaks, huh? I'll just see you for lunch instead tomorrow. Your mother will be proud. All right. Thanks, Pop. Bye. The readiness is all. You know the players. Call the game. He's suspicious of him, as he should. Be. <laughs> Bro, he, he's practiced this moment all of his life, guys. We have a blind spot. Why do we have a blind spot? We had two hours notice. Two hours. I'm concerned about a Chinaman who thinks it's wise to come to a business transaction with automatic weapons. You, you die, DJ. Got a Mac-10. Yeah. See a 44 Magnum by the looks of it, snub nose. Maybe a 38 Special, maybe. You know, direct contact with your guys would have its advantages. Not to my guy. This is unbelievable. Who put the f in this place? Oh, I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. <laughs> you must be the other guy. No ticky, no laundry. All right. I mean, instead of the show of nonsense, just do the transfer. We had a Navy. <laughs> Smart. Always one step ahead. Back. Always. He's going to have a heart attack. If he continues that behavior. You want to meet up or you got something real? Call me back. Wow. How long have you been with this guy? They're just not listening to him at all. He's the one that My knows... Boyfriend? The most, yeah. it seems. It's very serious. Then why are you going to? Why, why are you literally sitting at, at, at the table with this man? Uh, that's wild, bro. But all right, do you think? Listen, because he obviously wants to 
you know, do nastier things. Um, hence the reason why he's even probably sitting at the table with her. So you know this man has intentions, but you're in a serious relationship. That's crazy, you guys. Right, people have doubts and right. problems. Right, that's still not an excuse to be sitting at the table with him. Doubts. Hey, can I look at you? Yeah, sure. Moved in. You better get organized, quick. Hey, last time I checked, I tipped you off and you're not in jail. Are you listening to me? Do you like Little Miss Things sucking on you? God, guys. Yes. Or some other guy will be putting their fat up Little Miss Freud's. Right. How are you, Francis? Guys, she is very suspicious. Me, friend. Not exactly. What did you do with the real microprocessors, Frank? Microprocessors. Would you so you traded some like cob chips, most likely. Rather white. All right, I will. Oh, what's the move? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still want to stay? Well, I mean, obviously, we're all obviously we're leading up to at some time him being caught, right? So we expect him him to be caught at least. But all right, let's go. Ahead. Oh my! That makes sense. Guys, that makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense right now. Yeah, come on. Man. You have some supper. We'll talk in the kitchen. Come on. Hmm. It makes all the sense in the world if this was a true story, guys. Seriously. But I also don't trust this. I don't, I don't trust her at all, guys. Okay, I mean, do your thing. Can we wait here? Oh no. I think he'll be good though. I think so. Like, do people know their like bank account numbers like off the top of their head, guys? Cause uh, you, I could not do that. I'm not staying, all right? You could tell him I said that. You have to choose. No, you have to make a, a decision. A decision, and right. and you know you have to stick by what you choose. You have to move in with your boyfriend. Yes, otherwise it's. it's... Oh, I know, I know, I know. Is it real? I think so. You don't have any cats. No. You know what? Okay, <laughs> let's just go with it, guys. Let's just go with it. We are all convinced that Costello has at least one. Okay, so as of right, so so hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that she's going to probably be the one to break this story. She's dealing with this guy. This guy here is the basically undercover for the other guy. Ben DiCaprio is also now undercover. Yeah, she's going to be the one that's going to put everything together, guys. She's going to have to be. Marriage is an important part of getting ahead. Let's people know you're not a. Every guy seems more stable. People see the ring, they think at least somebody can stand the set. Ladies see the ring, they know. <laughs> Is that how it works? Okay. I mean, I guess it does kind of work like that. Because, I mean. What is this? <laughs> Kali, laying low is not what I do. Frank, you gotta trust me. Good at that. Right, he's very good at this. 
What? What kind of place is this, guys? He probably recognizes that he's being followed or speculated it. Make a rest? Yeah, that guy's... It's... All right, no, don't make the... That's not a good idea. Bro, don't make the arrest. Hi, darling. Hi. Yeah, see you. Have a good one. Yeah, I don't think he has much much time left in this uh this current job position, guys. The rats eating the castle. Not the castle, the capital. I got an informer in my outfit. You, you sure it's not the FBI? And all I can answer myself is What's the difference? Between? You accuse me once, okay? Oh. Either you're gonna get a lot of respect now, or this is not gonna turn out well. Ask me. Point I'm making here is, Bill, I got this rat, this annoying, cheating rat. Right. And it brings up questions. Bro, give this man an award. He's uh, he's better, guys. He better have gotten every single award, whatever year this came out. Right? He deserves it. You know, Absolutely. See, Bill, like you're the new guy. Right. You said there is one, all right? I base most of what I do on the idea that you're pretty. F you do. Sure. Sure. But well you, played, William. I probably could be you. Yeah. Yeah, I know that much. But I don't want to be you. Frank. Sort of thing. Yeah, I don't think it's that heavy for you, bro. To be honest. I'm out of here. You'll have to you learn a lot watching things eat. There's a boat coming up Gloucester. French will give you all the details. And if you taken care of this, I wouldn't even be here. And I'm gonna need the identity of your undercovers. Blow me, all right? Not literally though, unfortunately, there's no promotion involved for you. Hi, Captain. Look who's here, the prom queen. You're going to be looking at my people. Going through their bank statements, their phone calls, and medical records. Look, if we're not going to make it, it's got to be you that gets out. Because I'm not capable. What about this guy? The cop. <laughs> um, that, guys, that cannot be. Hey, how you doing? How what kind works. of dog is that? Cop. He's probably the police commissioner. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going home, all right? He's playing with his new guys. See you later, right? See you later. See you later. Huh. No, 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 today. You heard nothing about drugs. No. No way, he says. <laughs> Starting right now. Good, thank you. Oh my. I'm just so consistently dumbfounded by what's like happening back to back in this movie, guys. It's amazing. Um, it, literally sitting here watching rather than speaking about what I'm experiencing. There's a lot of like I'm I'm sick of this guy here, right? Obviously, he's going to put people onto him, onto the captain, because he knows that the captain is in contact with the 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 snitch, guys. But it's still like. You guys can't see what's happening in front of your face and it's frustrating me slightly, guys. It's frustrating me. So just follow him and don't get made. Oh no, guys. Like, he should know he's being followed. I think Billy, I don't have a tail. No, you do. Get off at the next stop, right? South Station. He's got dope coming in. I don't know where he... Bro, you probably shouldn't be doing it in the it's open. spooky, Captain. You're too in the open. I think we got him. 
I think Queenan's meeting with him right now. I know, all right, all right, listen to me. Bro, this is like getting me anxious. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, guys. <laughs> um, this is not going to turn out well for the cut for the uh, for this guy here for Queenan. Oh no! I don't know, Sarge, but I got four round men right out front. You want us to pursue? No, do not pursue. Stay in the car. Oh! You ran over the body. Get this man out of this building, bro. N now what? Because now, oh god, guys, that was the only one that would have helped him get out from from you know this deep undercover here, guys. So, do you know why Queenan went into that building? No. Well deserved. I need those codes. No, you want those codes. Why do you want them so bad? Hmm. I gave you the wrong address, but... He said 314. Tell me why. He said 314. I thought that was just like his accent or something, guys, but he definitely said 314. He left. I don't know where he is. Like, pay attention to the, to the woman that's with him. Like, like... Guys, she seems to always be there whenever business is being spoken about, and she's always kind of like watching. I may, I may be super, just like suspicious as a person. I apologize, but I think it's her, bro. I tried to call you a few times. Yeah, I know. You know it's a trap, bro. <laughs> you called this number on a dead guy's phone. Who are you? So it is you. But thank God you're all right. We were very worried. This is Sergeant Sullivan. I'm taking over Queenan's unit. We need you to come in. Can you come in? Don't do it. Right. This is a very gray movie, guys. Like, morally gray movie. Like, I don't really know who to side with here. I definitely don't like the fact that this guy is in the police and he's just... Uh, doing all of these things behind the scenes. That's something police are working on right now. If you have I don't believe it. He was a cop? What can't you believe? So I won't look for the cop. Hmm. Soft fits. When I, I mean, tell you to dump a body in the marsh. This ain't reality TV! <laughs> right, I mean. All right. What are you going to do? How, how are you going to do it? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely losing it. He's losing it, guys. The whole rat situation has gotten to him fully. All right, it's the warehouse he owns over on Sheffield. He's got to have a container or a truck or something there. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, guys. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Either you're going to allow to let this man go. But how? You're an FBI informant. 
Do they know who I am? <laughs> I never gave up anybody. Nobody knows nothing. <laughs> You're like a... What, like a son? Mm -hmm. To you? Is that what this is about? Oh, God, guys. Gwen, we lost Frank. I got Costello here! Guess he's in for another promotion now, huh? He only cared about if he, if, uh, if Frank told about him, of course. You know that guy? Yeah. We were classmates in the academy together. Now, how long were you undercover? <sighs> long time. Being a cop's not an identity. I want my identity back. My only contact in the last six months has been a police shrink. How's that working for you? Is it helpful? Oh, no. What are you going to do about Costello's rat in this building? I'm going to find him. I'm going to arrest him. Mm -hmm. Good. I just want my money and I want to go home. All right. Uh... <laughs> Unreal. That's what well, makes a lot of sense. Listen, Bill, I gotta run this in the other room. This computer's getting all friggin' bluey on me. Give me two minutes. I'll have you out of here in no time. Mm hmm. What do you see? What do you see, sir? Right, the citizen paper. Oh God, guys. It's him. Now you know. Now what? Get out of that building, bro. And you just gave him the tool to delete your life. <laughs> oh no. Kind of, it's kind of saw that coming right there. Yeah. I'm really sorry. I am. Well, you know, I have, um, I... Whatever you have to say, think about it real hard, all right? If you still want to tell me, you tell me in two weeks, okay? Maybe you shouldn't have done that. You should have just wrote, like, a random number on it or something. What? What? Pregnant? Yeah, but is it his or the other guy's? I hope I won't have to remind you that if you don't find this cheesy... You know what? I thought I was the liar. Hey, I can explain that! <laughs> it's perfect. Open. Didn't we already talk about this? No. Talk this is my it. job. Right. That is painful. Right. More. Give it to him. <laughs> He's Costello's rat, all right? I got boxes of tapes, evidence, other documents proving it. You know who I am. Come on, bro. This, this is the longest elevator ride ever. What? think you were the only one he had on the inside. Costello was going to sell us to the FBI. It's you and me now. You understand? What? <laughs> more. Just, you know, more bodies. Oh. <sighs> 
Oh, this is this this is special. This is super special. <laughs> this guy in the back broke character. This guy right here in the back, him, he absolutely broke character. He was honestly like deeply surprised by the sound of this firearm. Like watch his face. Look, stoic, watch his face. He was really scared. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what was in that letter? What about the baby? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> well deserved. Well deserved. Absolutely. The departed. The rat. Bro, what was in that letter? Who directed this movie, guys? It is Ma Martin Scorsese. Have I seen any movies from him? I don't know. I don't think I have. But I feel like I should. <laughs> uh, this movie was spectacular. I was... It, it grabbed onto me and, and never allowed me to basically get at ease. Um, for the last half of it, I was absolutely anxious with finding out what happened. Unfortunately, we really didn't, you know, it wasn't, I was hoping for a happy ending, but this isn't, is it a happy ending? It is a happy ending, but it isn't, right? I feel like there's a, I feel like I would have loved to know what was inside that letter. It was obviously probably something uh, involving how, you know, Will was innocent of all this nonsense, right? Um, I'm glad he got his at the end. It was well-deserved because, you know, he, he played with everyone's lives like their lives were irrelevant. Right? This is an absolutely, this is the definition of a dirty cop, guys, right? Um, now, Marky Mark's character. Uh, at first I was like, okay, ew, disgusting. But he happened, he happens to be the, like probably one of the better cops there, him and, and the Queenie guy, Queenan guys, right? Absolutely, these two characters were amazing. Just completely dumbfounded here, guys. Again, like the movie was amazing. We've seen, uh, you know, recently a lot of really good movies, right? But this is something different, right? What, what even, like, what class is this? This, this is not drama. Maybe, maybe drama, guys. Drama felt like a kind of a thriller. You're sitting on the edge of your seat the whole time, just waiting to see what happens next. Um, absolutely brilliant, guys. Filmed beautifully throughout, the shot lists were great. The ex the execution of the the shots are were phenomenal throughout. It didn't have any flaws, not a single flaw, and that's crazy because we generally run into movies with that are really good, but they may have a you know, a slight issue, right? But this one here, not so much, guys. But all right, listen, if you guys want to see the full length uh, reaction to this video, it is on Patreon at the second tier, and uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.